Hello everyone, this is Scott, and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the Windows Easy Transfer to migrate a user profile or user account from one computer to another. To get started, we can go to our Start menu and just search Easy, and we'll have that Easy Transfer as the first option. So we click on that, and it'll give us a little bit of information about what can be transferred. So this can be an entire user account, including that user's documents, music, pictures, emails, favorites, videos, um, a whole bunch more. One thing to note is that you cannot automatically transfer any applications or any software this way. If that's your intent, is to move an entire user and you still want them to have access to all of the same software and applications, you'll need to log in as an administrator on that computer install the software or the programs first and then transfer the user account over it'll include all of their files for that software either way but they won't be able to use any of those files unless that software is already installed or gets installed on the new computer so we can select our option of how we want to transfer this profile from computer to computer the easy transfer cable might be the fastest, especially if you're using a USB 3.0 ports on both computers. The network option may be the slowest because it has to send up to a network server and then pull it back down to the other computer, or perhaps you might be able to do something similar to an ad hoc computer to computer wirelessly like that. Um, the most reliable I find is either the transfer cable or the USB flash drive this will create a file makes it very easy to transfer it over so what's, I'll, that's what I'll be doing in this video I'm gonna say that this is my old computer it has my current settings and everything on it um, once we click on that it'll start scanning through all the user profiles on the computer and see what kind of data it will be able to transfer for each user so this will go down through their documents um, their photos their videos their music um, in most cases, it can even go down through their downloads folders. It can go through individual folders or directories within the C drive. Um, it can get all kinds of data. It just cannot get any program that requires an installation. If it's a portable application, then that would probably still transfer fine. But if it requires an installation process, then it'll need to be installed on the new, on the new computer as well. Um, the scanning will take a little bit of time depending on how long that account has been on the computer and basically how much data has been built up under that account so zero here is the one that I use the most I have a lot of data under this account the second account is one that I've created it's mostly empty so you will see the scanning that will be very quick and then the transfer wizard will also go through the shared items just to see if there's anything there that should be transferred Once it does finish scanning to see everything that's available for transfer, it will then build us an estimate for the total data size, and it'll go through and select some things by default. Once it's done scanning, while it's building that estimate, we'll go take a look at some of the options for default selections. We saw how quickly that second one scanned, just because it's almost empty. I'm not going to bother transferring either of those and my primary account here as it builds that estimate we can go to customize and advanced so this basic one shows you you know the generics of what it's going to transfer we want to go down into the advanced because it's going to be rather large and I don't want to transfer everything from this account to a new computer so we're going to remove everything from the public folders we're going to remove most of these I'm going to go ahead and exclude downloads. You see it's over 80 gigabytes. Excluding my downloads drops it down to 30. And if I can continue going, it'll just get smaller and smaller. Basically, all I'm going to try to transfer here is my pictures, my wallpaper, and backgrounds. And down to about 250 megabytes. So we'll go ahead and hit OK on that. And hit Next. You can put in a password. You can leave it blank. That's entirely up to you. If you're doing this immediately, putting a password on it might not be a bad idea. Um, if it's something that's going to be sitting around for a while before you complete the transfer, 
you might not want to put a password on there unless you're sure you can remember it. For demonstration purposes, I will just put in pass as the password. I will have it save it here on my D drive and overwrite the existing file. I have done this once just to refresh everything in my mind. So we'll create that file on the USB drive. And once that's completed, I have built up a virtual machine that we will import that user account into. And while that processes, I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording, save a little bit of time. I will come back uh, once that's finished, and we'll move on to the next step. Alright, so we've finished saving that file. We'll go ahead and hit Next, Next, and Close. And then I'm going to be importing that profile into a virtual machine that I've created here. Let's go ahead and log in. Let me get this full screen so we can see what we're doing here. I'm using VMware, so I need to enable that device here. Connect it to my virtual machine. Give it a moment to pick it up. Go through and install the drivers for that USB drive, and we are ready to go. So, on the new machine, we'll just start the same way. Type in easy, use the easy transfer utility. Set this up with the USB drive for the new computer. We will browse to the flash drive and select that file that has all of that data on it. We use the password pass. Go ahead and let it import everything from that account that we have saved into that file. Once it's done importing all of this and creating it, it may log us out and log us into that account. Um, if that account on the old computer has a password to log in, you may need that password. Um, part of it, it has to do with um, rights and associating ownership for those files. Um, it is important to note that if any of the files on the old computer were encrypted, this transfer will lose that encryption, so those files will be unusable. They will, this computer won't have the same encryption type or the exact same encryption keys used for those files. So it's important to back up anything and unencrypt, if at all possible, your files before you do this. Once it finishes this transfer and building the profile onto this new computer, we'll go in and it won't set the same user password. It may build uh, an account with no password on it, but we need to give that old password for that account so that it can link the ownership association for those files. So while this process is, I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording again. Once this step is done, we'll be right back. All right, and as soon as at f as soon as it finished importing that profile, it asked us for the old password, for the login password. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in now, and that warning it gives us is that some of that content was protected by this password, so we need to reassociate ownership with this account. Confirm that, and you can go and see what all is transferred. Um, the list of programs might be helpful if you need to install new programs. This will kind of give you a guideline on what programs you'll need to use all of those files. It may just show a list of all the software you had installed on the old computer that you might want to transfer over by installing on the new one. In any case, I'm just going to go ahead and close. It has to reboot to finish building that profile, so I'm going to let it restart now. And we can see it already started to work because I have the same background on there, on the desktop. So we'll let it reboot, come back up. And once we get logged in, we should be able to see that it has completed.
right, so we log in, and it imported that account into this one, because this is the account I was logged into at the time. So it'll move all of that data, those files, um, the wallpapers and stuff that I had, like this. So it has completed successfully. And it should not have brought much else over. I told it not to bring any downloads. I told it not to bring any documents. But it did bring all of the pictures from that profile. So you can see that it'll bring everything within a directory as long as it's selected to. Um, that about covers it for this video. Please feel free to leave any questions or comments below, and I will see you in my next video.